Hey out there and welcome. I'm Kate and I am glad you're here. Today's practice is just going to be a quick 20 minute, fingers crossed we keep it to 20 minutes, giddy up and go class. <laughs> you can guess what that means. If you want a couple of blocks in a blanket, go ahead and grab those, find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's get moving. So we are going to start in child's pose. If child's pose is disgusting to you, <laughs> then a comfortable seat is fine. We are going to do a couple of things in child's pose. You can modify by sitting upright and taking your arm across your chest. You'll know when we get there. So go ahead <laughs> and find a child's pose. Knees wide, knees together, whatever works for you. If you want to block underneath your forehead, you can stack your palms, stack your fists. Take a breath or two and just feel yourself relax. Since we're here for just a short period of time, we're going to abbreviate. So just let yourself drop in and do your best to tune into your breath and what's going on in your body as you rest here. And I know that we're going to move at a, a faster pace, but um, try to do your best to stay in tune with what's going on, even though we're going to move from one thing to the other. Um, just be aware and be kind. Okay. Walk your hands out in front and pop up onto your fingertips. Feel your upper arms lift, right? Shoulder blades in your back. And maybe squish a little bit side to side because I like a little squish. And walk your hands over to the right. Oh, and press your left fingertips into the floor. Take a deep breath into that left side. Okay, walk your hands back through center and take it over to the left side. And feel that right side sitting bone pull back. Nice deep breath into that right side. Oof. Beautiful. Then you're going to come back through center with your seat still on your heels. Walk your elbows back. So we end up in this like forearm kind of sphinxy thing, right? And then you're going to take your right arm and cross it underneath. Palm faces up. So it's a thread the needle kind of thing, but a thread the needle while we're in child's pose. And instead of spinning your torso to the left, which is kind of where you think you're going to go, you're going to drop your chest straight down. Walk your left hand forward so you can keep it out of the equation here. And you're going to feel the back of your right arm press into the floor. Also drag the head of that right arm bone back into the socket. So hopefully there's a stretch through the, the back of your upper arm there. Then while you're here and dropping your chest down and all that good stuff, just spin a little bit toward that right armpit, just to bring a little more, you know, oomph. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then you're going to come up into table, lean into that left hand, sweep your right arm just straight out to the side. Oh, flip your palm toward the ceiling. Take the back of your hand to your low back. Feel the head of your arm bone lift, that elbow can lift, and then just angle your left ear toward your left shoulder and give your head a little shake. That's it. And then take your right arm, stretch it straight forward, and kick that left leg straight back behind you. Nice deep breath here. Then exhale, elbow to knee, pull it in. Inhale, reach, elbow to knee, pull it in. One more, kick it out. And then drag it in. Beautiful. Kick it out one more time. Oh, okay, then you're going to drop that left knee to the floor. Sweep your right arm open to the side. You got it. And then we thread all the way underneath. Come onto the shoulder, come onto your ear. Press the tops of your feet down. Keep that outer left hip drawing back. Maybe your left hand wants to reach up and wrap around. You got it. Let that left hand come back down to the floor. Sweep your right arm open one more time. Yes, you got it. You're going to take your right foot, step it back, sweep your left foot behind you, and then open yourself up into a nice side planky thing. Oh, beautiful. 
That's it, windmill it down. Step it back, downward facing dog. And pedal it out here for a moment. Check out your head, your neck. Slide forward into plank, take a breath. Drop your knees to the mat. Take your hips to your heels. Soften again, elbows to the floor. Drop your head. Here in child's pose, slide your elbows back to your knees. You're gonna take that left arm, slide it underneath. Palm faces the ceiling. Drop your chest straight down. Right hand can slide forward. Press the back of your left arm gently into the floor, slide your arm bone back into the socket, and then spin gently toward that left armpit. Oh. Inhale, come up into your table, sweep the left arm straight out to the side. Flip your palm toward the ceiling, take the back of your hand to your low back, and keep the head of that arm bone lifting. Take your right ear, glide it over toward your right shoulder, give your head a little shake. Gorgeous, and then take your left arm. You're gonna stretch it straight forward. Find bird dog, right leg reaches back, inhale. Need a nose, pull it in. Or, I'm sorry, need an elbow. <laughs> inhale, kick it back, you know what I meant. Exhale, pull it in. One more, reach it back. And then pull it in. Extend it back, you got it. Bring that right knee back underneath you, sweep your left arm open, and we're gonna thread all the way underneath. Maybe we're going out of order here. It's okay. Take that right hand to the floor. Hips nice and square. You got it if you want to take that right arm. Reach it up. Wrap it around. And then release. Take your right hand to the floor. Sweep it open. And then stretch that left arm straight forward. Step your left foot back to the back edge of the mat. Sweep your right knee open. Here we go. Take a side plank. Ah. Windmill it to the floor. Step it back again. Downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Inhale, rock forward. Find your plank and lower through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin. If there's a chaturanga in there, you can. Down dog, upper, or <laughs> low cobra, or upward facing dog. You knew the wheels were gonna come off, you just didn't know it was gonna happen so soon. Downward facing dog, pull it back. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now from here, you're gonna feel your sitting bones rise up. Pop up onto your right fingertips. Take your right arm and stretch it straight back behind you, like you had a little, your right wing back there. And now we're gonna come forward into plank. Reach your right arm straight forward. Drop both heels to the left. Sweep your right arm up. Side plank. Yeah. Now we're gonna lift those hips. Down dog. Slide your right arm through. Grab the outer edge of your left leg with your right hand. Find a twist here. Inhale, shift forward into plank again. Take your right arm, reach it forward. Play for just a second. See if you can lift that left leg up. It's wonky. Right hand down, left knee to nose, pull it in. Inhale, kick it up and back. Down dog split, bend your knee, stack your hip. Give yourself an opening here. <sighs> Squared off, step your left foot forward. Back knee down. Anjane Asana, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, slide your hands down through prayer, tuck those back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step it back. Vinyasa if you want it, knees, chest, chin. Chaturanga, baby cobra, horn up dog. And pull it back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, and now you're gonna pop up onto those left fingertips. Take your left hand, stretch it back behind you. And this big old like wing on here, right? And then slide yourself forward, plank, reach that left arm toward the front of the mat. Drop both heels to the right, sweep your left arm up. A little stacked plank, or side plank here. 
And now down dog, lift your hips. Left arm's gonna reach underneath. Grab for the outer edge of your right leg. Find a twist here. Oh, you got it. Forward through your plank, left arm reaches. Float that right foot up. <laughs> Crash, it's fine. Left hand to the floor, knee to nose, pull that right leg in. Kick it up and back, down dog split. Bend your knee, stack your hip, open it up. Oh. Beautiful, down dog split. Step your right foot forward, drop your back knee. Anjane Asana, reach out, stretch it up. <sighs> Hands down through prayer, tuck those left toes, lift it up. Nice high lunge and reach your arms, take it to the top. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, fingertips to the mat. This time back foot's gonna step forward and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press into the floor. Come all the way up, or Vastasana, reach it up. And dive right back over your legs. Exhale, let it go. Halfway lift. Downward facing dog, take it back. And now you're gonna take your right foot. Step it forward just a hair. Toes open out to the side. Drop that right heel. You want this right leg strong and straight. If you step it too far in, it makes this a little bit harder on the hamstring. So don't step it too far. Don't step it too far in. Okay, press into your left hand to take your right arm. Reach it back, grab your leg. And then float this left leg up. You got it. And you can bend your left knee. And maybe the right hand finds that left foot behind you. It's a big maybe. <laughs> and now you're gonna kick that left foot back. Keep your right arm reaching toward the back of the room. Inhale, rock forward. Reach the right hand forward. Bring that left knee towards your left tricep. Stretch it up and back again. Down dog split with that right arm reaching to the back of the room. And then forward again. Bring that knee in and then kick it out to the right. Fall in triangle. Open it up, inhale. Exhale, windmill that hand down to the floor. Spin it back, down dog split. Deep breath in. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Maybe you wanna drop it back. Find a wild thing if it's in your wheelhouse today. That's it, and then from here, step that left foot forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale open, warrior two. Flip that front palm, reach it back, reverse your warrior. Back up through Vera two, side angle. We're going through the classics today. <laughs> Let your tailbone lengthen. Notice if your ribs start to jut out and we're like, oh, angling it in. See if you can bring yourself in line. Get it together. <laughs> and then a warrior two, windmill it up. Hell yeah. Right hand's gonna come down to the floor. Right side, side plank. Step that left foot back. You can stack. You can bring the left foot in front for a little kickstand. Press into the floor, lift those hips. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, come in down. Plank, vinyasa how you want it. <sighs> if you want it, right? Pull it back, down dog. <sighs> All right, take your left foot, step it forward just a hair. Toes open out to the side. You're gonna keep pressing into the floor with that right hand, shoulder blade into your back. Take your left hand back, grab for your foot. Okay, if you're game to be right here, just stay here. Or maybe you float that right leg up. Oh, yeah. And then maybe you bend that knee, grab for your foot behind you. Kick that right foot back, keep your left hand reaching. And when you inhale, you're gonna rock forward. Tap your right knee to your right tricep. Extend your left arm to the top of the mat. Inhale, kick it back, reach that left arm back. <sighs> Bring it forward again. Knee in toward that tricep, then kick it out, fall in triangle. <sighs> Feel your hips lift. <sighs> you got it. Windmill that left hand onto the floor. 
Down dog split, inhale it up. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hip. Open it up, maybe you drop it back, find a little wild thing, if that works for you. Wherever you are, you're gonna take this right foot, step it forward, crescent lunge, inhale it up. Exhale, open, warrior two. We got the giddy up. I mean, it's a slow pace to giddy up, but we're still giddying up. Flip <laughs> your wrong palm. Reach it up, stretch it back, reverse warrior. Strong through both legs. Inhale up through warrior two, and when you exhale, side angle. You got it. Nice long spine here. Notice if you started to puff up into your rib cage. See if you can let that left rib cage just melt down in. Just a bit. Vera two, inhale. Exhale, left side, Vashisthasana. Let that left hand hit the floor. Spin it around. Stack those feet. <sighs> Lift it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then find your plank. <sighs> Vinyasa if you want it. Or straight to downward facing dog. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We're gonna add on to that, right? So take that right foot, step it in. Left hand stays rooted. Take your right hand, reach it back. Float that left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Knee to tricep. Right arm reaches. Slow motion. Up and back. Inhale. Bring it forward again. Knee in. Fallen triangle. You got it. Windmill that right hand down, kick it up and back. Wild thing, drop it all the way back behind you. Step your left foot forward. This time we come into half moon. Shift your weight, open it up. Yes, if you wanna grab a little chapasana here, you can bend that top knee and grab for your foot and roll it open. And then slowly kick it back out. Here we go, you're gonna reach that right arm straight forward, square the hips. So standing split with the right leg reaching back, right arm reaching forward. Soften your left knee, see if we can come into a warrior three. Beautiful, tree pose. Drag your right leg in, sneak attack. Boom, rikshasana. It's okay, put your feelings aside. We're here, we're together. <laughs> we're falling over. It's good. Sweep that knee straight forward. Step your right foot next to your left, sink your hips, chair pose. Inhale, exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Oh, it's sweet, halfway lift. You guessed it, downward facing dog with a vinyasa in there if you want it. I'm gonna give you time to do it if you want, so go for it. <sighs> okay, and that left foot's gonna step forward, right? Root through that right hand, float your right leg up, take your left arm, reach it back. <sighs> okay, here we go, you're gonna sweep your right knee to your right tricep, left arm reaches. Up and back, sweep that left arm up. Again, bring it forward, knee to that tricep, and then kick it through, fallen triangle. Deep breath here. Windmill that left hand down, spin it all the way around, rotisserie. <laughs> Wild thing. Right foot steps behind you. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Now you're gonna push into this left foot. Step your right foot forward, half moon. If you want a little chapasana here, you can grab a little chapasana. A wee chapasana. You got it. Kick it back through your half moon with control, right? And then you're gonna square those hips. Mm, stretch your left arm forward. 
soften your right knee. Stretch your right arm forward. Warrior three. Oh, tree pose. Come on up. This is where you can catch your breath, right? Find your gaze point. You got this. Sweep your knees straight forward. Ooh, step it down, chair pose, sink your hips. <sighs> Come onto the balls of your feet, lower your hips to your heels, and then your butt all the way down to the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together, grab your ankles, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, fold out and over, Baddha Konasana. Lock your hands underneath you. Bop your knees back in toward each other. Feet about, hips distance apart, wherever they feel comfortable. Wrap your left hand around your right knee. Take your right hand behind you. Give yourself a little twist here. Bring it back through center. Both arms hug your knees, curl your chin into your chest. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Take that left hand behind you, go for a twist here. And then back through center, hug those knees, fold your chin into your chest. And close your eyes, take a breath. And then curl it up. Take a comfortable seat. If you wanna grab that blanket or a block, slide it underneath your butt. Take a moment here, let your eyes close. Fast and furious, hopefully not too furious. Take a few breaths. Feel yourself settle. Enjoy the heat you've created in your body in this short amount of time. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra and bow your head. And Feel the beating of your heart and honor, <laughs> honor your body and your breath for moving you through this practice and for moving you through every other moment of your day, whether they are <laughs> wonderfully joyous moments or maybe not so much. And honor this practice for, for giving you the opportunity to make space, even in a small amount of time. Thank you for being here and for sharing some of your giddy up with me. I look forward to practicing with you again soon. And you know the spiel. You can like, share with a friend, comment, I love to hear from you, and subscribe. That's super nice too. Make it a great day.